In this tutorial, you will learn how to calculate total of numbers in filtered data in Excel. As you see here in this example, I have the data of sales quantity and sales revenue for different products sold by different sales representatives. In the C3 and D3 cell, the total is calculated by using the sum function. But when I apply filter here in the column header and select particular product or sales representative, this sum function becomes useless here. Let me apply data filter here. Select the column headers. Click on data tab. Then click on filter. Here you see, filter buttons appeared. Let me click on this and select the product toothpaste. Now the sum function here is still giving the total of whole data. But I need the total for toothpaste only. So, here we will learn how to calculate the total for filtered data or for the visible rows only. To calculate total for filtered rows, we need to use the subtotal function. Let's delete the sum function from here and use the subtotal. Press equals, type subtotal, then open bracket. Here in this function number parameter, you have multiple calculation options to choose, like average, count, counter A, max, min, and so on. Here in this particular case, we need the total. So, choose function number 9 by double clicking on it. Or, you can directly type 9 too. Then give a comma. Now in the reference 1 parameter, put the quantity range, that is C5 to C37. Now close bracket and press enter. This is the total of quantity sold for toothpaste only. If you select another product, let's say, noodles, total changes automatically. Now use the fill handle to drag the formula for sales revenue total. So, this is how we do calculate the total of numbers in case of data filter or from the visible rows only in Microsoft Excel. If you want to practice this function, Download this sample workbook from the video description below. If you found this topic useful, please give a thumbs up to this video. Thank you for watching. See you again.